Welcome back, talking RV sales. And right now, you might be out there at your dealership thinking, you know, it's kind of a tough market right now, right? Prices are a little higher, interest rates and getting loans to get bought from the banks are maybe a little tougher right now. Uh, you know, the economy and everything that's going on with inflation and just, you know, $25 eggs and everything else that's happening, you know, it really puts a lot of pressure on an RV salesperson to get a deal to go through because with all of the extra expenses and the interest rates and so on and so forth, customers are not making the decision as easy as they were, you know, call it a year or two years ago, right? And in addition to that, RV dealerships were, you know, possibly setting record numbers in, you know, in history and maybe RV sales per people got used to just closing a deal as soon as a customer came in. But, you know, we're not really seeing that in today's market. And I personally, you know, when I started to sell RVs, it was pre-COVID. So there was no COVID craze. There was no people flying, you know, buying RVs off the shelf. You know, it was a lot of five, 10-year customers, people that did a lot of research, people that have been looking at RVs for years, you know, customers that look at RVs as wants and not something they need, you know, that was what I would consider, you know, a normal RV market. In the last two years with record sales happening, RV salespeople have had what I would consider an easy RV market to close deals in. And now we're back to a tough one. So, you know, what do we need to do differently to close more sales in a tough market? And the answer is, we have to add value to our customer's life. We have to ask the right questions and go past surface level with our customer so that we can learn their true needs, wants, and desires behind owning an RV, right? Because what is your goal as an RV customer when you're buying in an RV? You know, is it to sit in your garage for the rest of existence? Is it for it to just hang out in your driveway? Is it to park at the local campground because you want to buy, you know, a camping section at your local campground? And, you know, is it to travel the United States and go to different, you know, different locations? Is it to, you know, go off grid camping and just kind of see different rivers and go fishing? You know, there's a lot of different things that an RV customer might be trying to do some of them might be looking for a truck camper so they can go back into the hills and into the mountains and rock climb or some might be looking for x y and z and those are what we have to focus down on if we want to sell rvs and you know some people consider a tough market but what i would consider a normal market and i guess what's not normal is the high interest rates and things like that so yes it's definitely a little bit more tougher in those regards but I'm talking in terms of the customer mindset. We're back to customers thinking that RVs, not really something we need, not really something um, that the extra expense calls for. It's more of a one. And that's the biggest thing with an RV salesperson closing a deal. You know, how does your customer see that RV? How important is it to them? to get the RV, to buy the RV. You know, what is the goal? What is the dream? And that's how we're going to sell RVs in a tough market. We have to learn our customers' goals. We have to learn our customers' dreams. We have to learn what our customers are missing out on by not owning an RV. And sometimes our customers themselves have to realize what they're missing out on without owning an RV before they'll actually pull the trigger. And sometimes customers don't think about that, right? Life comes at you quick. You know, maybe we have kids, maybe there's soccer practice, basketball, baseball, football, cheerleading, singing, choir, band, you know, all the million different things that happen in a family's life. In addition to, you know, 40, 80 hour work weeks, whatever, husband, wife, husband, husband, wife, wife, you know, single family, single parents, whatever it is, like there's a lot going on, family problems, family issues, family events, family vacations, uh, you know, all of the different stuff that happen in people's lives. In addition, now they have to balance an RV. 
right? That's kind of what is tough about selling RVs is customers really look at them and they stand back and they say, well, you know, we have a lot going on. We have X, we have Y, we have Z. Do we really need to add that onto the plate? And if we don't pull our dreams, our goals, our desires out of our potential RV customers and clients, then they might not be building that picture in their mind. They might not really be understanding, you know, what they're missing by not owning an RV. And because of that, they don't see the RV as adding more value than it's going to cost them. And a customer is never going to buy a product or a service if they don't see, you know, more value from owning that product or service than it's going to cost. So in the RV world, when people look at RVs as a want, we have to be able to build a lot of value. And where the value comes is the dreams, the goals, the desires, the things that our customers are unable to accomplish because they do not currently own an RV. So how are we pulling those out of our customers? We're asking, you know, who, what, when, where, why, and how our customers are going to be using these RVs, right? We're asking them, you know, where they're going to be going, right? What are some of the destinations that you and your family and your wife and your kids, you know, what do you guys, what have you guys always talked about? right? What do you do when you get there? Are you kayaking down the river? Are you hanging out and fishing and trying to catch, you know, all these different kinds of fish? You know, are you hiking the mountains and hiking the hills? Are you spending time at the pool or, you know, laying out in the sun? You know, what are your favorite things to do while you're out there at your campgrounds, while you're spending time with your family or traveling? Is the goal to see every, you know, national park in the United States? Right. Because we like to hike. We like to swim. We like to do all these things. So, you know, we're going to go see the trees in California. You know, we're going to go see the Grand Canyon and X and then the mountains and Y. You know, is that the goal? Right. And those are the things we have to pull out of our customers. So, you know, when we're talking to our customers right from the very beginning, they need to understand that, you know, as an RV salesperson, we need to learn what you're doing with your RV, you know, what you're trying to accomplish, your goals, your dreams, so that we can provide you with an RV that meets those needs. And then if we provide them with with an RV that meets those needs, well, now when we close the RV, we need to close on those emotions, right? Let's just say that their goal is to see, you know, all of the national parks in the United States. And we come to the closing table and they're saying, you know, hey, I don't, I, you know, it's a lot of money right now. The market's tough. You know, interest rates are high. And, you know, we just don't want to buy an RV today. Well, I hear what you're saying, but let me ask you this. How come you want to keep putting off your goals and your dreams of seeing the national parks instead of just buying this RV today? It's the perfect RV for you. You work 40, 80 hours a week, and you only have so much time in your life to be able to see these national parks. If you keep putting off traveling to these national parks, you're never going to have the time to be able to see them all. We never know what happens with health. We never know what happens with our mobility. We never know what's going to happen down the road. So, you know, by not buying this RV today, you're really putting your goals and your dreams and all of those memories that we'll cherish when we get to the end of life, you know, those are the things you're going to remember going to national parks with your kids and your family and your grandkids, seeing the United States and the hills and the mountains and fishing all of those different rivers. Those are the things that you're going to remember whenever you get to the end of life. So, you know, I know that the RV seems like it might be a lot of, you know, a big extra expense, but you're going to be living out your dreams and your goals. And those are priceless. You can't do that without buying the RV today. So sign right here, right? And we were able to loop back to those emotions and really, you know, kind of show to our customer like, hey, you know, I understand, you know, I hear what you're saying and I hear that, you know, 200, 400, $500 a month is a lot of extra money, but your dreams, your goals, your desire, seeing every national park is worth more than 200 bucks a month. Sign right here. You know, Chris, that's a very good point, but, you know, I need to talk with my spouse about buying an RV today because I don't make a decision without my spouse. I I hear what you're saying, but, 
you know, you and your spouse and your kids and your loved ones, you've had this goal for years on end and you keep putting it off and not making this decision. So, you know, I think if your spouse or if you made the decision of the day to buy this RV, then your spouse would be ready to get in to travel the United States and to create these memories. Because just like for you, creating these memories with, you know, your grandkids and her grandkids and your kids and or rather your kids, right? That's priceless. And those are the things that you and your wife and your family and your loved ones, those are the memories we're going to take with us. Stop torturing your family. Stop putting off these goals for your wife and for your kids and for your grandkids. Stop, you know, wasting time because we never know how much time we have. Buy the RV today. Sign right here. Right? So I hear the objection and I kind of move it to the side and I say, hey, listen, your goals, your dreams, your desires, those are more important. Those are what's priceless. That is what you need to be focused on here, not the $200 a month, right? And and that's how we're going to close more deals in a tough market by focusing down on how we're adding value to our customer's life. And in a tough market, we have to be able to show and add more value. We have to dig a little deeper with our customer because if we're not digging deep enough, we're not getting to those emotions. We're not getting to, you know, the heart of the deal. And because we're not to the heart of the deal and we don't have all that information, we don't have that build up rapport. Our customers don't respect us as much as they need to, to make a decision because we don't have that our customers are walking and they're finding another RV salesperson that will provide that. If you think that your customer hasn't left your dealership, went to another dealership and bought an RV in the same day, then you are crazy. If you don't think that your customer has came to your dealership, given you all of the objections they've given you, went to another dealership, gave another salesperson them same objections and bought in that same day, then you are crazy. It happens to all of us, right? So we have to just get better at the deal, really be able to learn what our customers are looking for, learn what their emotions are, learn what their desires are, learn their goals, and then provide them with so much value in an RV that it's impossible for them to say no, right? Maybe we've heard the saying, you know, give them a deal they can't refuse. That's what we're doing by learning the emotions, providing them with an RV that can that can meet those emotions, and then telling them to buy the RV. Sometimes customers are going to thank you for pressing past their objections and pressing past their no's because finally they're going to buy an RV, they're going to go on a couple vacations, they're going to go on a couple events, they're going to realize what they were missing out on, and they're going to be like, I am very thankful that that salesperson talked me in to buying an RV today. If you're a dealership or business that needs more customer leads, that's what we do here at Infinite Media Resources. We can double the amount of customer leads at your dealership or business in the first couple months we add our programs in. So if your sales team is good at closing deals, but you need to be talking to more customers, then don't hesitate to give me a call because we can definitely help you here at IMR. My phone number directly, 330-703-3930. Again, 330-703-3930. Give me a call if your dealership or business needs more customer leads. If you're an RV salesperson or a salesperson in general that wants to get better at the deal, a couple ways that you can do that. First way, you can go grab the book, Sell More, Live More Sales Training. Get it from Amazon. Get it from Barnes & Noble. Link is in the description, so drop down, click on those links. Go grab the book from Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Uh, You can also sign up for our RV sales training program right online. There's hours of content, over 40 plus videos, and A to Z on how to go through the RV sales process and the RV deal. That way you can get better at closing RV deals. So if you want to get better at the RV deal, go to sellmorelivemore.net. Sign up for our RV sales training program. It's roughly around nine bucks a month or a hundred bucks for the whole program. So it's very inexpensive and it's worth 10 times what you're going to pay for it. So if you're an RV salesperson, if you haven't got access to the sell more, live more sales training program, do yourself a favor, go to sellmorelivemore.net, 
sign up for the RV sales training program and start getting better at the RV deal. But while we're out there at our dealerships this week, let's make sure that we're, you know, digging into our customers' needs, digging into their wants, digging into their desires, asking those questions that start with who, what, when, where, why, and how, and going past surface level so that we can build real rapport with our customers and start to provide them with RVs that allow them to meet their goals, go the places they want to go to travel with their family, travel to the national parks, kayak down the river, see the mountains, see whatever they want to see, whatever their goals are. Let's be the person that's able to provide that for them. And if we're able to do that, then we can close deals even in a tough market. If you're an RV salesperson that wants to do a live role play, please contact me you can give me a call directly shoot me an email connect with me on linkedin shoot me a message however you want to do it um, let's schedule in a live role play i'd love to do one of those with you and again if you're a dealership or business that needs more customer leads then give me a call directly we'd love to help 330-703-3930 again 330-703-3930 if you haven't got the book yet, sell more, live more sales training, go to Amazon, go to Barnes and Noble link is in the description. Go get the book. Make sure you give me that five star review afterwards. And uh, we're going to be talking about RV sales and the sales process in general all year long. So if you haven't given us a like on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel yet, make sure you hop over to Facebook, hop over to YouTube, type in Infinite Media Resources and give us a like and a subscription. That way you can be here for all the sales and marketing content content that we put out throughout the year. So I appreciate everybody that's been here with me today talking about, you know, selling RVs in a tough market, you know, while we're out there at our dealerships, let's dig in, go past surface level and add so much value to our customer's life that they're buying from us, even in a tough market. I'll see you at the next one.